So we are back with the Mac today. Today, what we're going to be doing is going over the top three file recovery software solutions that you can use for Mac and your Mac laptop. So let's get started. So for this video, I've organized it into three different categories. First, I'll be giving you the best overall, which will be the best overall piece of file recovery software if you could only choose one. Then I'll be giving you the best professional solution. So if you have experience with utility software or just file recovery in general, then that'll be the one that you choose. And then finally, I'll wrap it all up with the best free solution. So if you don't wanna put in any upfront investment, that'll be the one you choose. So no matter what you're missing, whether it's photos, videos, documents, archives, Whatever it may be, today you're gonna to be walking out of here with the knowledge and the tools that you best need to get your stuff back all by yourself. So let's get started with the best overall piece of file recovery software, which is called Disk Drill. So Disk Drill is an app for both Mac and PC, and it's been on the scene for a long while. So where Disk Drill really shines is in its awesome combination of versatility, usability, and power which are three variables that oftentimes aren't combined all together in one piece of software because typically one is sacrificed for the other. And luckily this software doesn't short you in any of those departments. And it would honestly be my first choice when it comes to file recovery, especially for someone that wants the most power, but the most shallow and non-intimidating learning curve. The UI is very streamlined and easy to navigate and understand. And the results are very impressive, which again is something that's commonly sacrificed for ease of use. But one of the best things about Disk Drill is that it's really a complete recovery suite in that it not only packs a powerful punch in file recovery, but also in data management and backup as well. It includes powerful and all-inclusive tools across every facet of file and data management that you could possibly need, which makes Disk Drill a serious competitor in the file recovery space. And with new updates and iterations of Disk Drill being rolled out all the time, you can ensure that you're always going to be receiving the best bang for your buck and the most power at all times from Disk Drill and its software. So if that's something that you're looking for, you just want the best overall piece of software and you'll never need to touch anything else again when it comes to file recovery and file management, Disk Drill should definitely be at the top of your list. All right, so now let's get into the best professional file recovery software, which is going to be one that I have talked about before at length, which is called RStudio. So why is this software best for professionals? Well, essentially it packs a very powerful punch with a lot of advanced features, especially aimed at recovering disks and drives and things like bad sectors or fixing file systems or recovering rate arrays or things like that. But one of the reasons why it's best for professionals is because the learning curve is a little bit steep. Again, this software is A1 at fixing broken file systems or fixing rate arrays that may have gone bad and combined with advanced recovery algorithms, it makes this software a serious competitor. But one of the main variables that I always like to look at when I look at any piece of software that I'm gonna be using, not just file recovery, is usability. How easy is it for me to jump into the software and just start using it? And when it comes to RStudio, it's a little bit lacking in that department. I do have quite a bit of experience with utility software as well as file recovery software in general, and it was a little bit tough for me to just get up and going with RStudio. I was able to do it, but for someone that's not as tech savvy as I am, it'll definitely be a lot tougher and a lot steeper. But one of the benefits to this software though is the fact that it has an immense amount of support, both on the website as well as just on the web at large. There's a nice forum that you can go to that has a lot of people asking questions as well as answering each other's questions and tech help, which can make the learning curve a little less steep and can allow you to get up and running a lot faster. And so when I talk about RStudio and its overall feature set, if that's something that seems interesting to you or something that you know that you need from a piece of software and you're willing to either learn the learning curve or you have experience with file recovery software in general, then RStudio was probably something that you should look at. And then finally wrapping it all up, we have the best overall free piece of software, which is actually a two in one called TestDisk and its partner software, PhotoRec. So again, I've talked about test disk and photo rec before in my PC video, and I wanted to bring it over here because it's honestly one of the most versatile pieces of software out there as it's compatible with just about every functional operating system that you can think of, including of course, Mac OS. So the software utilizes a CMD interface where you then enter commands into it and select different commands that are shown on the screen. And then these commands are then used by your Mac to aid in the recovery process. So when I say partner software, what do I mean? Well, essentially, when you go to the TestDisk website, TestDisk is what's branded as the main piece of software, but there is another piece of software tacked onto that that you can use in tandem with it called PhotoRec. So 
What's test disk used for? Well, if you have a drive that has a bunch of bad sectors or a bad file system, you can use test disk to help correct that. But you can also use photo rec, which uses the same very simplistic CMD interface and UI to recover photos off of something like this. So you can use both of them in tandem together to achieve a multitude of different results in a multitude of different situations. And so with that being said, while this software is free to use and it's simple and it's great, it still is a little bit tough to use. If you're not familiar at all with CMD, it can be a little intimidating seeing all the white text on black background and there's absolutely no images or nothing guiding you at all. Just a bunch of commands that you have to select, some you have to enter, and just following the on-screen instructions. However, there is a good amount of information online about it if you want to learn more, and the software is very simple with most of it guiding you through the entire process. And so for what it is, a free piece of software, it's definitely a good one and definitely one you should check out. Okay, so a lot of information there, but I honestly feel good now because I've pretty much covered all my bases and given you the best file recovery solutions for both PC and now Mac. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, always be sure to leave us a like down below and also leave a comment. If you like this video or if you have any questions or things that you want to know, then let me know. I always enjoy reading your guys' comments. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video. My name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.